Welcome to Ask Less. One of the questions we get quite often with our ring blade air wipes is how fast can you clean with these units? How fast can you run an extruded part through the air wipe? The air wipes are designed to basically clean, dry, or cool extruded parts. The way it works is the compressor comes out of a small gap, comes out of a 30 degree angle, and trains air from the surrounding air, amplifying airflow, uh, blowing with a shearing force on the extruded part that's going against the flow through the air wipe, thereby cleaning the part. Uh, the air wipes are made in all different sizes from half inch all the way to 11 inch inside diameter. So we can handle pipe, we can handle small cable. So how fast can you go? We have done uh, applications where we have wire going up to almost a thousand feet per minute, very, very fast. And we've done obviously slow applications as well with a big pipe. The smaller you make the extrusion, the faster it typically ends up going. But can you actually dry uh, something going that fast, say up to a thousand feet per minute, with only one air wipe? That depends. You have to look at several factors. First of all, what is the nature of the material? Is the material smooth? Is it rough? If the material is rough, it's going to take more energy to clean or dry that part. What is the nature of the product being removed on the extruded material? Is it water? Is it oil? Is it something sticky or something that's very easily blown off with low surface tension? So it depends on what you're trying to blow off the material as well. And finally, the shape of the material. If it's smooth, it's going to be a lot easier to dry. If it's rough, or if it's bumpy, like say corrugated hose, it's going to be a little bit tougher to clean. So in that case, you either have to go slower, which you really don't want to do in production, or you do one of two options. One, you can actually open the gap up where the air comes out on the air wipe and put in an extra shim. You double the flow of the, uh, the air consumption, but you will also double the flow and you will double the force. So you will uh, have more force to clean and dry the part. The other option is, is having a second air wipe, uh, say 18 inches apart from the old one, so you blow off uh, as it goes to the first one, and you have it far enough away so you're not blowing it on to the part again, and then blow it off a second time. So those are the options. So as far as how fast you can go with an air wipe, it really depends on these factors, the nature of the material, the nature of the part being removed, and the shape of the material. If you have any questions concerning the use of compressed air for blowing, cooling, drying, ask less.